Hey, it's Brendan Payne with Century 21 again, and wanted to share another FISBO secret for you. This one is gonna be really, really important for you. Um, three things that you need to do before, or if you're just watching this and you're already on the market, three things that you need to do to prepare to market your FISBO property, okay? Number one is you need to make sure that you update your online profile for your property. That means things like, I'm gonna give you the biggest example, Zillow. You can go into Zillow, claim your property, you show that you know, you're know you the owner, then at that point you can go through and, and update the comments, update the features, update the things that come with the home because remember Zillow makes property valuations based on all the different metrics that they're measuring. So little things like I've got this huge backyard and it's fenced in and I've got the koi pond and I've got a paver driveway. Understand little things like that Zillow's giving you credit for. Most sellers, when I go on an appointment and I go look and, and evaluate someone's value in their home and I check the Zillow report, most of the time it's the default. It's whatever's on there from when the builder built the home or from when somebody had it on the market in the past or there's nothing but the tax records information which is just primarily your basic square footage and things and some, you know, some general market uh, information from surrounding areas. So go ahead, get on and um, update your, your profile, your footprint that the home has online. That's number one. Number two, make sure that you have all the documents that you need. There is nothing worse in a position where you're about to make a sale on something where you are in that position and you don't have the documents that you need. I can't tell you the amount of times where if I didn't have a contract in my trunk, if I didn't have um, a purchase contract for a piece of you know, residential lot or a condo someone was looking at, that we would have probably lost the sale. We, if we weren't prepared, then the buyer decides, you know what, I'm gonna think about it. And then what happens? That buyer might be down the road purchasing someone else's. So make sure you have all the documents that you need. Um, if, you, if you need something in terms of uh, addendums or explanation on what each, uh, each of the documents mean, give me a call, text me, email me. I'd be happy to explain exactly what, which ones are and, and what ones you're likely to need in the, in the process. And then also, the other one is you want to make sure that you have a list of the top performers in your market in terms of us, the agents. What I would encourage you to do is go ahead and contact your local board of realtors and just ask them for, you know, can you send me the, the top offices or agents in my area so that now it's a good idea to go ahead and send that listing out, send your link out to where you have your uh, property and make them aware because they may have somebody that's looking in that area, haven't found what they want, that might be able to get you uh, the buyer in that you need. So remember those three critical items when you're marketing your property for sale by owner are going to help you get as much exposure and be prepared if and when you do get a contract. If I can help you with anything, don't hesitate to give me a call, drop me an email. Look forward to talking with you again soon. Thanks.